Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing the tutorial guys on a brand new Mega Steam Power for 1.18 and 1.19. Now the Create Mod is the latest update in 0.5 that adds Steam Power to the game. And with this system guys, we're going to be making about 1.2 million stress units, or just a little over that. And the great thing also is the fact that this thing is self-powered, so it will never turn off. So you know what? We're going to build it today. Now what's great about this system is the fact that it actually uses any kind of fuel as far as charcoal, wood, dry kelp, you name it. And you can even use blaze cakes which will even increase the heat in the system. Now we're going to be using a total of 20 steam engines and 80 blaze burners for this actual setup. And just like every steam engine guys it requires water so not to worry. We'll be using about 20 mechanical pumps that are going to be pumping water 24-7 with this infinite source that we have in front of us. And the small print for what you're getting is pretty small. It's about 23 long, 10 wide, 8 tall, and trust me guys, it is lag friendly. Alright, now at this point, let's jump right into the actual build. This is what we're going to need to really create this system. So pause the video, take your time on this guys, because it's going to be a bit of a fun ride. Now, like I said earlier, the dimensions are 23 long, 10 wide, and 8 tall. Now you're going to go about one block forward right here in the corner, and you're going to add 20 blaze burners right across and another row right behind it then of course guys you're going to replicate that on this side as well so add your 20 blaze burners and another row right behind it like so and what's great about this guys whatever you do on one side you're going to repeat on the other side now, over here you're going to add your fluid tanks on top of each blaze burner like so and as you connect a two by two pattern, they're going to all connect creating these perfect squares. So make sure you pause the video and you have 10 perfect squares in the same layout. And of course, guys, repeat that on this side as well. Now, the great thing about this, all you have to do is simply add one right on top. It's going to automatically add that extra four. And just keep in mind, you just want this tank to be four blocks in height. Now, once again, repeat that right across the board to each section. Now, once you have this beautiful look, guys, you're going to get your deployers and you're going to place it right here. Just make sure the hand is facing the opposite direction. So you're going to have to make sure that you're crouching when you place it. And another one right behind the first deployer. Now, extend that right across, giving two rows of deployers all facing forward. And believe it or not, those hands are actually going to refill the actual blaze burners. Then you're going to repeat the same exact thing on this side as well. And once you've done that, you're going to add a chute right on top of each deployer right across the board. See? And it's that simple, guys. Now, once you have this awesome layout right on top, you're going to fill in the entire top area with the actual steam engine. Then you get your shaft and place it right on top, making sure that it's going towards that direction. Okay? So once you place it on top, they're going to automatically change to these pulley systems. And of course, you can just simply aim at the top part and extend it right across, and it's going to automatically convert those shafts into pulleys. So as you can see, this shaft is actually going right across. You don't want to place it this way sideways because that's the wrong direction. You're going to go over here, look at the actual steam engine, and right with the arrows pointing, guys, just add it and just simply paste it right across. And of course, repeat that on the other side as well. Then at this point, guys, you're going to add a shaft on top of the chute, like so. Add a mechanical belt to connect it on both sides. Then if you aim right at the bottom with the mechanical belt, you could actually extend that all the way down to its max length. Fantastic. Then once again, like we always do, guys, simply repeat on this side as well. Add your shafts, add your mechanical belts, and simply extend that to the other side. Now, once you have that set up, guys, you're going to place a block here with a large chest right on top, parallel to the actual belt, and on this side as well. Then you're going to place two blocks in the middle temporarily, and you're going to add two shafts with a mechanical belt connecting this small setup. Then once you've done that, you're going to add a brass funnel on both sides and two brass funnels behind each chest. Now, just like we did back there, we're going to do it right on the other side, add two blocks with two shafts and a mechanical belt connecting the small setup. Then you're going to add your large chest right on top on both sides. 
one and we're gonna add a large chest right here then add your brass funnels on the inside and two right behind the chest now we want these conveyor belts to rotate in a perfect round circle so you're gonna add a shaft a, a shaft right there in the front with a gearbox connecting it and right behind that gearbox you want to add a vertical gearbox so it simply adds to that so i'm going to add a temporary create power just so you can see the flow of all this how it all rotates right across then you're going to add another shaft here and here as well so it's going the opposite direction and we got to make sure that this shaft is going towards the left so to do that we're going to add three in case fans because we need that to power something else which i'll show you later then you're going to add a gearbox right behind it and another gearbox well place a shaft there and another gearbox connecting this so that it could all power and create this perfect rotational conveyor belt setup now right behind it on the back end you're going to add an encase fan drive right there and extend that right across until you connect with both deployers on both sides so now you're powering both deployers with the same setup now back to the front end we're going to go right here to the back and starting here, you're going to add your mechanical pump. Just make sure that the arrows are facing forward. Then you're going to leave a gap in between each one and place a mechanical pump. So it should be a total of 10 mechanical pumps on each side. Perfect. Then you're going to get a small cogwheel and place it right between all the way till you get to the back. And once you get to the back end, place one more parallel to the chest. You see where that chest is? Right on top of it. Now, like I said always guys simply repeat on the other side perfect now at this point guys you're definitely gonna get your what we call a rotational speed controller you gotta use just one of this but you gotta make sure that it's facing the cog wheels okay so connect a shaft on both sides towards the actual rotational controller and you're gonna add a large cog wheel on top to complete the setup now starting here, you're going to add a block of choice. I'm going to be using glass, but you can use any block on top of the conveyor belt right across. And you're going to add a block right there and extend that right across to the other side. Now once you get over here, guys, you're going to extend it so that it kind of wraps right across over the chest and on the side right there. And the reason you want to do this, especially on this side as well, is simply replicate what we just did earlier. Add your blocks on top of the conveyor belt right across and right behind like so and of course extend that right across because these pumps are going to be pumping water and we don't want it to take the primary source so for that you're going to add a water source right across from front to back and when you get to the back end it's going to be a little different so you're going to place one block right behind that one shaft right there and place your water source directly onto the shaft. See? Then simply repeat that on this side as well. Extend that right across. And there you have it. Your water setup is good <laughs> pretty much forever. Now, once you've done that, guys, you're going to get a gearbox and place it right behind each one of these shafts, believe it or not, on the top end. Then you're going to add a vertical gearbox right here and one right there at the edge. But before you do that, make sure you add an encased fan drive right there with the vertical gearbox and connect this with a shaft in between. Now, the great thing, guys, we got to get the power directly instead of a large cogwheel. So you're going to add two encased chain drives there and two right on top. And make sure that this top one is angled and you're going to connect it with a shaft right across so that all the power goes directly to that main spot now this is gonna be the fun part guys how to really kickstart this to kind of really get this going now you're gonna break that cogwheel add a block right there and add one cogwheel that same small one on top of one of the pumps then behind it you're gonna add a hand crank see so you can manually kind of start this now you gotta make sure guys with the wrench you gotta make sure that that pump is facing the actual boiler now down here all you have to do guys is simply get some wood and simply manually feed the blaze burners all four of them 
And once you crank start it, guys, you're going to see right away all the pumps are going to get started. And there you have it. That's all you have to do. Now, simply break this and put that cog wheel right back and make sure that the mechanical pump is facing the correct direction. That's it. Now, of course, make sure that the speed is set to negative 80 on the back end here in that controller. Now, all you have to do is get your source to connect to the back chest or the front chest, whatever you want to do, and let that feed the actual fueling system. Now, give some time to prime up because it has to feed all the blaze burners and really set that up before you get the full potential on this. Once again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you haven't already to subscribe. Hit that like button and that notification bell so you get the latest updates on all my upcoming videos. Once again, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.